Everyone was really welcoming and the teachers and students here really care about how well you're doing and they really want to see you succeed. I think my greatest memory of Daniel Mack would be the long-lasting relationships that I made here, uh, be it with my fellow students or uh, even teachers. Well, DMCI has a lot of programs to help you uh, prepare for post-secondary education, whether it's college or university. DMCI has a really strong music program. Um, when I was at the school, I was involved in pretty much every music class that was offered. So that would be the choir, the chamber choir, the concert band, the jazz band, guitar, piano, vocal jazz, everything that was available I took. And that has really had a really firm grounding to the career that I'm pursuing now, music education. Daniel McIntyre did a great job preparing me for life after high school. Uh, they have a wonderful class called the University Prep Class taught by one of my favorite teachers, Mr. Dyer. Um, and it taught us very valuable writing skills which were essential for getting me through the bulk of my university education. At Daniel Mack I was able to take um, advanced calculus classes and I was able to take two university courses and get credit for them while in high school. So that definitely uh, saved me time and I guess money at, in university. One of the extracurriculars that DMCA offers is the Discovery Program. And what that is, is students design, build, and market a hovercraft. As much as I spent a lot of time here in the music room, pretty much the reason you're here is to learn your basics, your math, your English, your history. And I had a really great experience while I was here. There are a lot of really great English courses offered. I'm also really interested in history. And um, as much as people might think that those are kind of the boring subjects as far as school goes. Um, DMCI, the way that they do the programs, they really make them interesting, they really make you want to learn, and that's really given me a good firm grounding to help me in the rest of my life. My favorite DMCI memory was playing volleyball in 2010 when we won the city championship. One of my favorite DMCI memories is uh, playing on the DMCI soccer team with all my friends. We uh, got together, did practices, and then got to go to the games together, drove around to different schools in the cities. So uh, DMCI school spirit really shows during our gym riots. That's when all the grades uh, form their teams and all of them just come together. Usually our gym riots are held during fifth and sixth period and some schools think that's a time for them to skip. But with DMCI, you can really see all of our school spirit and everyone just bunching up together because that isn't something that we would want to skip. It's something that we enjoy and where all the students would really come together as a family. The most important extracurricular activity that I had is being a president of the art club that I established. Like that art club was actually a promise from my mentor in the Philippines. I had an art club named Sikai in the Philippines and when I started to go here, I promised him that I would establish that art club and make it more famous. Coming out of junior high, I decided to go to DMCI. I came from Sergeant Park School, but that transition from junior high to high school was not hard at all. Um, from junior high, I made several bonds with my friends, with my teachers, and it's going into DMCI, the same things happened. Uh, you made friends f that came from different junior high schools, but you guys immediately clicked. Yeah, DMCI for me is like a home. Coming to Dial Mac, I grew up in the neighborhood. I even went to Sergeant Park uh, School down the street as well. Um, my experience here was so good, and the neighborhood was great. I even chose to buy a house in the same neighborhood, so my children may even come to this school in the future. Okay, being a Maroon is like a Power Ranger. It's like being explosive about the things that you love doing. I want to say it's some sort of bear-like animal, but I'm not sure on that. It's a very nice color. To me, a Maroon was something that I drew a sense of fierceness from whenever I was on the court and I needed that extra boost of confidence. It was being welcoming and kind to my fellow students. It was supporting one another in whatever um, 
qualities made an individual unique or whatever their passions were. And I think it was just something that you drew a sense of pride from and really gave you that extra boost when you needed it. So what it means to be a Maroon is to be a family. Um, you make different bonds with everyone. You get so close, you get so attached to so many people. And even after high school, that bond continues. There's still teachers that I still love to come back and visit to. Uh, there's still a lot of friends that even though I don't see them every day, like I did in high school, I still contact them. So in one word, what a Maroon is, is a family.